boy, everyone. I bet you didn't expect to see me again. Not so soon, at least. Um, so, I didn't get the job. Uh, I did this live stream where I said, it's my last day of freedom. I have the job now, or, or something like that. I didn't say I had the job, but I said I was going to get the job. Because, you know, you think about government agencies, temporary agencies, really, really easy, really, really easy to get a job there. Everyone can get a job there because it's just placement work to give you experience until you go off and work somewhere else. No, didn't happen. Um, and uh, had a conversation with my parents, and they, they both came to the conclusion that I'm somehow too mentally ill to work, mental illness too much, way too much of it. Uh, and so now I suppose all of a sudden I'm inside of some kind of perpetual meetdom. Um, obviously when I'm 18, uh, no holds barred, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I work or not because I'm no longer under their jurisdiction. And, and even then I've been kind of basically uh, inquired, told, uh, whatever you want to say, uh, that my time here is going to be rather short anyway. So, um, doesn't really matter, uh, you know, all I have to do is just work long enough to have good enough credit to get a loan to go to school anyway, so it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I want to leave as soon as I can, so as to whether or not I work now is just a matter of buying better luxuries for myself, I guess, but... I can use what I make off the internet to slowly build this room into a place that's less aesthetically dead, because um, that's been one of my major problems with making vlogs recently, is that I thought, you know, going to work would kind of reignite potential. It, it would give me ideas, give me things to say, make this channel entirely reinvigorated. And uh, I thought, for the meantime, I could make vlogs about the workplace or just at the workplace showing you what I was doing. And then when I got the necessary materials to transform this room into a better set to record videos, because of course this is how I think about everything, I, I don't think coherently in terms of how much mon money can I make to get to these specific life goals. I think of how much money can I make to get to these specific YouTube goals. So, um, uh, I mean, not that I don't think about those things, but mainly that's what I think about as to right now because I'm underage. And so uh, I, I had this thought like, well, one paycheck, what could I do to rebuild this room, to, to make this room into a, a more interesting place for the videos? I thought, well, I'll completely revamp everything. I'll, I'll put uh, posters everywhere get some nicer, nicer shelving, this type of thing. I thought, well, okay, it'll cost this much, let's do it. Didn't end up working out that way, so I'm gonna have to go through that process eventually on my own. The problem is, is that you know, so much of what I spend my money on is just like games and stuff, because I, I get really bored here. Uh, it, it's really, really easy to get bored when you spend all of your time in your room, and when everything residing around you is very, very boring. So I spend a lot of time in here. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna need to, to do something to make the videos more interesting because I, I feel like, uh, as a whole, the channel has just become kind of stagnant. I've just been talking about, man, I wish I could move out of the country. Man, it's this many days until I can move out of the country. Man, I was consuming this YouTube video and it was kind of relatively interesting. Man, oh man, I'm in my room. Man, oh man, childhood story. All the same stuff. It's all been pretty much the same. I don't like that. I've never liked doing stuff pretty much the same. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. <laughs> I, I have to do something. You know, entertainment has to keep being made or else you're not an entertainer, but I don't know what that thing that I'm gonna do is. Um, beyond just saving the necessary funds to make this place less aesthetically dead, to make this place more expressive, more interesting. Um, I want the visual component of these videos to be interesting. Because for so long I feel like they've just been very, very minimal, or no visual component at all. kind of want to change that. 
but only way I can do that is if I had money, <laughs> you know? So I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, uh, what I should do is, is actually spend my money in less stupid ways. Um, so I have bought stuff for videos, like I bought stuff for my computer. I bought stuff, um, you know, just to make this content better, but I, my focus hasn't been on to do that enough, I don't think. So I've been focusing so much on like, using my money to make myself more happy just because I'm <laughs> pretty depressed a lot of the time. Uh, but part of that, I think, should be to build this channel into something more interesting. One thing, one thing that I have been dabbling in with recently are these. I don't know if you can see the name on the logo. This is a nootropic lion's mane. Interesting stuff. I want to try other nootropics at some point. Um, those ones are specifically with the intention of making memory better because I've been finding my memory get progressively worse and worse. Um, and I, I don't want to get dementia. So I got those. I feel slightly different. It's supposed to help with depression and anxiety as well. The weird thing is, is that I, I don't know if I feel better. Well, I feel better, but it's not like in an extreme way, it's just in a very slight, it's in a very slight, sort of subtle way that I feel better. Um, but I've noticed my mental concentration being a little bit better. I've noticed, um, you know, the general feelings of like overt sadness, not really being there in the same way as I take those pills. Um, which I know they're not meant to be a substitute for like actual medication, but oh no, my monitor. Um, but I think it's something to look into. It surely can't hurt, you know. Um, so far, so far taking those has been helpful, at least on some level. Um, haven't really felt the memory effects to the degree that I would like, but I, I guess that's what you do when that happens, is you just take more nootropics, I guess that's how that works, I don't know. Um, it, my memory has still been pretty bad. I don't think it's been getting worse, so that's good at least. Um, but it, it doesn't feel like it's improved. Maybe I just need to take them longer. Um, I've been reading this. It's Bake, Bake Monogatari Volume 1. It's really hard to follow um, because there's lots and lots of characters that are introduced to. I don't know who the fuck are. Apparently, I asked a friend about this, apparently the book was intended to, even though it's the first one released, it's intended to be in a different part of the timeline, so you get these really insane dialogues back and forth between characters who I don't even know who are, talking about things that I don't even know what are, um, and, uh, I really like the writing style, I think Nisi Oisen has a very intriguing way of exploring ideas. I think he finds just creative um, puns, uh, you know, ways of expressing things. Very interesting, very creative type of writing. The problem is, is that I can't really decipher what is always being written about. That's the difficult thing with reading Bake so far, is that I'll be reading these pages and pages of this book and I'll just be sitting back at it and I go, well, do I have to reread those lines? And then I'll do it and I'll still not understand what's going on. Maybe it's my own stupidity, mental retardation, dyslexia, I have no idea what it is. But I notice that I can't really figure out all of what's going on in the book. I don't know if that's that way for everyone, but, um, you know, I really like Sinjo Gahara as a character. I think she's pretty cool. Um, she has a very antsy, uh, way of going about things, let's just say that. Um, I like Hanakawa, she's very principled and, um, you know, very much like a, an aesthetic type of character. I think all of these characters sort of have a, uh, all of them have a visual feeling about them that's, that's described that's very, very distinct in what it expresses, you know? 
Um, there's a lot of visual language in the book, despite the fact that so much of it is just dialogue. The visual language that's used never feels overbearing. Like in a lot of books, what you get is a case of them over describing certain things. You know, the plainterly banner by which I walked was uh, excessively luscious or, or something like that. You know, just really, really long diatribes describing things. Uh, incantations of, of loquacious wording and all this type of stuff. It's just, it's too much. Now, what I like about this book is that it's able to creatively describe certain settings without being so overbearing about it that it just gets too much time taken away. Um, and it has a perfect balance of, of dialogue, short descriptions, and also interesting descriptions. And uh, In general, the way things are worded feels very tongue-in-cheek, feels very uh, creative using the medium of writing to the most creative extent that it can. Not, of course, as some as creative as something like, say, House of Leaves, but it's postmodern fiction. That That's what it is. It's breaking the conventions of, of what writing would typically be. So I find that really interesting. I just wish I could follow it better, <laughs> you know? And uh, that that's most of what I've been up to. Uh, I, I've been mostly sitting here reading and watching videos because the PS4 that I paid for, you know, wonderfully with, with my own money has been essentially confiscated from me. Um, not in my room anymore, so the time that I would normally spend playing that, <laughs> you know, not really there at this point, uh, I, it, it is what it is, but, uh, you know, I mean, what are you going to do about your machinery being commandeered? It's just commandeered at that point. Uh, so I, I may have to, I may have to max revive the PS2 era of Infinite Star. We're going to become PS2 gamers now, once again. Infinite regression. That's what this channel is about. This channel isn't about growth. That was a lie. Whenever I said it was about growth, that was a lie. It's actually about infinite regression. Um, so, uh... That's what I've been up to. YouTube. It's a thing. <laughs>